Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 8 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Let's see what the heck happens this week. Speech does not matter. What matters is the man who speaks. Unknown. That's an interesting quote. Oh. So we should now be on book 4 for this series? Why do I feel like something was gonna pop out and scare me? Oh, she pretty! Oh my god! Her hair and her, her eyes. Let me see her eyes. Oh my god. She's so oh she's cute. Oh god, her eyes are beautiful. Her voice is kind of familiar to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, can we explain that? <laughs> well, this girl. Ah, my Michan, your Shinobu is mm, just mm, just out there. Call him that. Uh. 
He's right. Yeah, I mean, especially if you were going to call him Wally Phone. It's beautiful. Seriously? Maybe in secret, like someone just picked it up and then... Maybe. But it is gorgeous, like oh my god. That's something that I would love to hang in my future house when I get a house. Maybe. I mean, yeah, we have it. Ah, it's so pretty. Yeah. But then, I mean, it would make the most sense for her to show back up. I'm just saying. Okay, where you want to go? That girl. Maybe. Because she, she could possibly have something to do with it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But see, hold on. Could she lift that, though? I mean, she's tiny. I mean, but it's important though. So we're not going to say anything about this? Para? Pariah? Uh, it's time to play my favorite song. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. So this was a warning. Be like, back the fuck off my man. Do you want her to go get him? Right. Oh. Uh uh. -huh. Oh. Shit, he can whisper anything in my ear. I'm just like. I mean, you know, he might type except with the lolly thing. I mean, like, we, we need to fix that though, but I get it. <laughs> We seriously, hold on, wait, 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 wait. We seriously asking that now? Okay. Ha! Wait, 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 w
Okay, I understand she has no friends, but hey, your future, fi your fiance, like, d said that is to her. You think I would want to be her? Oh, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. But, like, it, it's, like, um, it's abstract. It's beautiful. Like, oh, my God. Oh, okay, so if she wants to join the club, she's very much like, um, Rongo from Oran High School House Club, except she has different reasons on why. And... Oh. Of course, everything's going to involve you, baby. I'm hungry. Yeah. And she didn't have a cart. <laughs> exactly. That's what I thought for the first time. Okay. But then, okay, hold on. What if she asked one of them? Not Mayuri, because, you know, of course, when she first saw her, she threatened her. And not even her uh, fiancé as well. So someone else in this group possibly, you know, went along with the idea and just picked it up, took it, brought it to the art room. And her yukata are so freaking pretty. Like, ha! No. So maybe she got an adult. I don't think so, though. Oh, Christ, it's going to be you.
so. So then she would just need two people. Or, really, she would just need herself and then somebody else. So, the biggest thing is, who did she get? Oh. Yeah, see? That was really easy. The boy traveling with her, her, her part one. Okay. Alright, now thinking about this, because it said the boy. Um, it, I don't think she's a boy, but <laughs> it wouldn't be mad at her and such. But she had to at least ask somebody else to help her with this. Because of the fact is with both Michiru and Mayumi both carrying it, Mayumi's probably like under like 150 and I'm guessing with the muscles that Michiru has, it's probably like maybe one, 160, 170 maybe, 75-ish, um, maybe even 180. It just depends, because like, he, he's, he, he's not muscular muscular, but he has arms, so he can lift. And you gotta sit here and think, with a child, an elementary kid student, plus, you know, whatever boy, whoever she asked to pick up the object he had to be at least a little bit bulky and most uh, muscular but not too too bulky like a little bit of like mm, a little scrawny but not too too scrawny you're in the between of scrawny and muscular to the point where yeah you can still lift something that's at least about 100 to 200 maybe to 250 maybe almost 300 pounds it depends but especially because of the fact is if it is another person who helped her it would make the most sense in my opinion i'm just saying she's gonna get oh she's wearing the school uniform oh and her eyes are changed yeah, her eyes are different. Her eyes are, um... Because she didn't have a cross in her, um, for her eyes. They were more like little flowers. Now this looks straight up like a cross. Maybe when she's angry, like, that's when they really, really, like, look like a cross. I don't know. But she is adorable. And I understand that, you know, her fiancé wants, um, Mayumi to be friends with her. I think, you know, maybe you should... Mayumi should just go back to dressing as a girl just during the day and then when she goes to the pretty boy detective club dress like a boy and then go back and forth from that so that she has the you know one female friend just like you know how to heal and wrong <laughs> which would make the most sense but there there just seems like there is something else about um what's her face's fiance that we don't really know yet and who knows how long like um the parts are going to be because I'm guessing this is like I said probably a 12 to 13 episode and we're now on episode 8 so we probably have about like four or five weeks left before we're done with this show um 
overall but like yeah I mean because as I said this has to be book four so of course because of the fact is we are now going into unknown territory especially when I do read these series like it'll be easy for me to go back and rewatch like the first few episodes of this because it's been like oh here's book one here's book two here's book three but now to the fact is we're at a series we're at a book that isn't translated yet once again I have no clue what the heck is gonna happen and no matter what that is okay I do love when series and also books um light novels and everything really do that because the best thing about reading something or even watching something that you absolutely don't know anything on is about the beginning middle and end the problem that they're going to have to solve and how in the world are they going to solve the solution so I do hope that by the end of this you know next arc or how many parts of, uh, this mm, how many parts this arc is going to be that these two do become really good friends and that she's not a little you know kind of standoffish because for however old she is because she is an elementary school a school kid um because she is hella standoff like i, I would be a little like mm. <laughs> if it was me <laughs> i'd probably be in the crap out of this girl but like hold up but like what the heck did you just say to me? I, I mean, because, you know, Miami, you know, she tough. Like, she a tough girl. This is freaking, you know... <laughs> this is Sheenaboo, for Christ's sake. But, like, I feel like she, you know, our baby Sheenaboo, she can't handle herself right now. Because, you know, she's not an immortal vampire. She's just a girl who is dressing like a boy and is a detective. And that's all. But other than that, guys... <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode 8 of Pretty Boy Detective Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 9. Bye, guys.